Mitch Bowers, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Where's Mike? There you go, there's Mike down there. Good stuff. So we actually got here yesterday afternoon and we had a bit of a look around, but it was super tough. Like we got here late, really early afternoon. We went for a walk, tried to find some fish, but it was super tough. We probably fished for a couple of hours before we found our first fish. Oh, I don't know how this sound's gonna come out because as you can see, we're still in the middle of the river because we were doing a crossing and then uh, we actually found a fish right on the inside here. We've actually walked for ages without seeing anything. It's the first fish we've seen there. Really yep. weird. Yo, okay, so Mike's ready to go. Do a dry fly on, get a parachute type fly. Maybe about two feet of tippet and a small stuff pack over there. I'm waiting. Just doubling up, you might only get one shot at this. I'm down here in the river, trying to stay out of the way. And uh, we'll see how we go. They're a bit far, but it's coming up to them now. Right over the fish there. You would have seen it, that's for sure. Doesn't look good. Should have eaten that. It was a good cast, it was a good drift. It pretty much went straight down his nose. His nose. Straight down his nose and didn't do anything. Which is not a good sign. He's gonna do a fly change. Uh, show him something else, I'm guessing. Uh, but, ooh, should have eaten it. It is a good fish, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I've got him in a good place. Yeah! <laughs> Wicked. No, it'd be close to seven pounds. It would have been a, in a mouse here. Yeah, a big, big boy. fished literally until the end of the day like last chance saloon last piece of water just losing the light until we found another fish the second fish we found which i managed to have a crack at <laughs> quarter to seven and i'm just rigging up for the first time <laughs> alex working his way down and we have a crack with this fish that's down in here the butt's all wet <laughs> Bit noisy. <coughs> Sand fly in my throat. <coughs> Nothing. He's in. I know he's in there, eh? Lengthwise, maybe take two feet off it and bring it across one meter. I can't see it. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, baby! I've flossed him onto the limp. Still might be okay. But I don't know. Oh, he's still well hooked. He's well hooked. He's well hooked.
So it ended up being super tough. Mike keyed onto something last night, which was what, Mike? Full moon. Full moon. We didn't even think about that. And then last night, this big moon came up, and that could very well explain why things have just been so tough. Yeah, I never really pay much attention to that, but we were talking about it, and uh, yeah, something I should really think about a lot more. Definitely has an effect in saltwater fish, so why the hell not in freshwater, eh? Oh, I've noticed over the years, it's yeah. often you'll be out and it'll be odd. The, the behaviour's weird, chasing each other, locked on the bottom when they should be feeding, even with his hatches going. Not and, out at all. And they're just doing nothing, and then you think, what's going on? And you think, oh, I wonder if it's a full moon. That's what I said yesterday. Exactly yesterday is bang, what you said. Bang. All right, so hopefully over the next couple of days, things may improve. That's, that's, the, that's the hope anyway. We're going to go and check out a little piece of water because as you can see behind us, that is pretty high still from whatever rain they had over here. So we're going to go and try and check out another little piece of water in the hope that it's a bit lower, a bit clearer. And then if not, we've got a plan B up our sleeve. And we'll resort to that. Let's go. What's the plan, brother? Put fly on, catch fish. It's about as far as I've got. <laughs> it's a good plan and I like it. So we've moved up to the next piece of water and we've found two fish. Not one, but two fish. A whole two. A whole two. One of them is definitely feeding and the other one is a bit like that one down there that is kind of just is there. So we're gonna try for the back fish first, see what he does. <clears throat> Potentially, if we can hook that one and drag him downstream, we might even get a shot at the second fish as well. But. I feel like I'm getting ahead of ourselves right a there. long way <laughs> by saying that. <laughs> All right, so Mike's up, he's just re-rigging, and then uh, we'll formulate that cunning plan and see if we can make it happen. I was actually coming around to fish for that fish and I looked across and right against the edge here there was this fish just lying there pretty dormant but come over, threw a dry over it, um, didn't react at all, put a couple of nymphs, a bigger nymph out to the right, sorry a nymph out to the right and then I put a slightly bigger one out and then I just moved it across a couple of casts and yeah. once it was just in the wheelhouse, come straight out, nice. nibble. It's a bonus when they're not feeding much. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that, that neck clip gave you some issues, eh? Oh, yeah, I, that's why <laughs> I lost my magnet. So I'm, I'm using this bloody thing here and they yeah, cross over, they jam up. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. 
That's all good, man. Like, yeah, just did a nice job of tailing up on the sandy bit here. No harm done. No harm done, indeed, yep. Awesome, man. Hey, good bit of fishing. True. Awesome. Went right and took something. Feeding well. No. Look pretty good that too. See that. Terrible. We went left to wait for it. You've got a bit of weight on there, I don't think you have to overlead them. Might put a little bit more on maybe. And go. Ooh. That's good. And lift. Yeah, right up. Nice. Good pull, bro. Good pull. Nice. That was uh that was all Mike, that was pretty much. I couldn't really see in that glare. Just going, uh, just trusting with Mike's judgment there. Oh, I left my net up there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, ah, around the tree. Oh, did he get around that bloody He just went off and shot around that tree, yeah. Oh man, I just got spanked. Facing conflicted man. I'm okay. I'm okay, really, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> 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 That's it. Oh, but it's not getting better than that. So full moonitis has taken hold. Mm -hmm. It's just been um, given the royal right rogering right by the here. conditions. It's squeezing and it's twisting. Yeah, it's and that fish, just beautiful fish, and it just wouldn't take anything. Acting weird, it was actually like kind of normal when we got here. And then, yeah, while I was retiring, Mike was just watching and he was moving out and in and then he just kind of parked up right on the inside of the bank and then just stopped doing anything. And uh, yeah, I was trying to force feed him several flies. Anyone want to know? He's gone. Anyway, we think there's another fish that's moved in at the bottom here, so I'll have a go for him. Oh, oh he, he went oh, after it. Tried to eat that. Got it. Oh! oh. Pulled it out of his mouth. Go again, go again. Don't think about it. Just go straight again. Not too far up. Oh! I mean, that fish, I should have caught that fish, really. He wanted to be caught. Uh, took a bit of doing, but it ended up changing to a worm. Heavily weighted worm. Smacked that down. He tried three times to eat it. But with the wind and the drift and where I was, it just kind of kept pulling it. And he was chasing it. I was trying to eat it. Then I had to pull out at the bottom just because of the trees and stuff around me. And uh, a couple of times he chased it, then once he actually ate it, saw his mouth go, but it was as I was pulling to pull it away from the tree, and I pulled it straight out of his mouth. So, and then he shut down, which is fair enough. Seems to be one of those days, a big tricky, tricky McTrickster's day. Not easy. Weird fish are still acting weird. Maybe something to do with that full moon thing going on, but uh, it's all good. I might get Mike in on the next fish just because he's been patient with me for the last three or four shots, and it's haven't worked out my way, so I could get him get him in hopefully you can get another fish and then maybe I'll get another shot a bit later nice oh he moved out nice good man
both so funny that you let, you said, oh, next one. No, nah, definitely the next one's yours. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's a good fish. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I retract my last statement? <laughs> Yeah, that one went pretty much in his mouth. I don't, oh, I don't think so. Is he? Oh, that's too far right. Yeah, it's just hit the dry. Woo, he's got some go. You want me to get in there? Yeah, sure. Save messing around with him for too long. I'll stop backing up. Nice. Got it done. Got it done. Finally. Oh, look at that out in the net. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Just love that. Oh, yeah. Super happy with her. She's beautiful. Tiny head. Oh, took some doing, but we got it done. Yeah. A little bit of perseverance and a little bit of patience. I think that first fish, you're right, that cast was too close and he went out and looked and that shut him down. Because I, I, I wonder if he happened. ate it actually, because he went and sort of twitched a bit. Did he? And then that, that fish came, just dropped into the run, just randomly, and uh, with a little bit of communication, working out stuff, finally got the right drift and just came up and ate that dry fly. Happy. Oh, it's just yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Never follow Mike. Never, ever, ever. Yeah. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! <laughs> These things are like crack, but they're all natural. That's it. Going to see this, has to see them. The oh, got oh, oh, had him. Oh. It was too far down his throat. He probably needed to be a little bit right or something. Because he hardly had to move. Yeah, it was he just too accurate. Went, oh, <laughs> oh boy, it did not go our way. We had definitely one eight, eh? One of those eight. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think probably maybe two. Yeah, anyway, didn't work out, didn't stick. So, a tough day, but we had our shots and we got a couple of great fish to the net, so pretty happy about that. We're going to pack up now because it's seven o'clock and we've got probably an hour and a half <laughs> to walk back to the truck, so it's going to be late. We're going to be somewhere else tomorrow, but we're going to be doing some stuff for a project Mike's got going on, so I will catch up with you once we've done that in another place doing some more of the same. Nice work, Mike. Great day. Awesome. Good fishing, my man. If you haven't watched Mike's videos, I'm going to link his channel in the description below. Make sure you go over there, check him out. Some quality stuff on there. All right. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.